Hi guys, you're welcome to today's lesson. Today we will be talking about inflation and deflation. We will be looking at the mean of inflation, the types of inflation we have, the causes of inflation, the effects of inflation on the economy, and control measures for inflation. We will also be looking at deflation, the effects of deflation and the causes of deflation. Now guys, have you ever gone into the market and discovered that that product that normally sells for 100 Naira now sells for 150 Naira? Well, that is a brief example of our topic, inflation. What is inflation? Inflation is a situation where there is a persistent increase in the general prices of commodities or of goods and services. Whenever there is a persistent sustained increase of the prices of goods and services and goods and services no longer sell for what they normally sell for previously and now sell for a particular amount which is higher than the amount it sells for previously and it is sustained at that level for a period of time or it keeps growing for a period of time it is called inflation hmm. what are the types of inflation we have the cost push inflation the demand pull inflation the hyperinflation open inflation and imported inflation now we're taking them one after the other first cost push inflation this happens as a result of the increase in the cost of acquiring factors of production like labor and raw materials when producers have to pay their workers more in terms of wages and the cost of raw materials is on the increase they will tend to increase the selling price of that product after production. Next, demand pull inflation. This happens as a result of excess demand over supply. If there is a high demand of commodities, manufacturers will tend to take advantage of it and increase price. Hyperinflation occurs as a result of a rapid and excessive out of control general price increase in an economy typically measuring for more than 50 percent open inflation happens when government and monetary authorities do not take any measures whatsoever to control the spending of the people or the weight at which the market sets its price and lastly imported inflation which occurs as a result of the increase in the cost of imported goods now let's look at the causes of inflation well, number one cause of inflation is population increase which could lead to the increase in demand for the products which will lead to inflation number two poor storage facilities which will lead to the decrease in supply of goods and services even while demand is constant or rising and lead to an increase in inflation number three high cost of production number four embargo on importation number five increase in wages and salary six upward adjustment in the price of petroleum products seven war number eight poor weather let's see the effects of inflation with the increase and constant increase in prices of goods and services producers manufacturers will gain which will lead to an increase in profit it will discourage savings because we will not have anything to save anymore when we have to spend all our money on consumption. 
it will lead to an increase in interest rates it will lead to a fall in the standard of living there will be an increase in investment there will be increase in employment this is because producers now make profit from the sale of goods and services so they have enough money to employ more workers and expand their business wage costs will also increase and the creditor will lose and the debtor will gain because of the fall in the value of money now how can inflation be controlled the government can control inflation through the use of monetary policy the monetary policy suitable for inflation will be one that will reduce the supply of money in the circulation for instance the open market operation the government can also increase cause there to be a increase in bank rates cash deposits special directives etc the second measure is the fiscal policy government can use tax etc to control inflation and to reduce money in the circulation thirdly government should promote industrial development in the country and this is called industrialization industrialization will reduce heavy dependence on foreign commodities and lastly government should look for ways to discourage importation now let's look at deflation deflation is the opposite of inflation while inflation talks about the persistent increase in prices of goods and services deflation talks about the persistent general downward movement or decrease in the prices of goods and services in an economy over a period of time now what are the causes of deflation number 1 budget surplus when government reduces spending continuously in relation to its revenue the volume of money in the circulation will fall and this would also force prices to fall because of low demand in commodities number two price control excessive price control by government without other measures to cushion the effects will cause deflation number three compulsory bank savings will reduce the money in the circulation and also cause deflation and lastly increase in production without increase in volume of money will cause deflation what are the effects of deflation it encourages savings there's an increase in the real value of money fixed income earners will gain it discourages investment export will become cheaper than import there will be a decrease in profit margin and there will be increased unemployment in summary inflation is a general increase in the prices of goods and services over a period of time in a geographical environment while deflation is the general decrease in the prices of goods and services over a period of time in a geographical environment now guys let's take down this assignment list five causes of inflation and three ways in which the government can control inflation i hope you enjoyed this lesson so till we meet again goodbye